I fixed this about five years ago and I'm doing it again. Uh, what you want to do, if you have one of these um, jigsaws, it's the Chicago Electric Tools. Um, you'll get to where you'll turn it on, the blade won't do anything. And uh, basically, what I did is first of all, I want to take all the hole patterns here because all these screws aren't the same. Uh, make a little good for yourself where they go. Something simple. Um, so you want to take all these screws out of it. Second of all, on the bottom, you're going to have uh, this thing here. That's your guide. You want Just take that off. That's not difficult. This is one screw. And you'll have this plastic thing, this little cover. You have on the top this rubber thing and the uh, some of the things broke, they're old, it's rubber, no big deal. I have to throw a little bit of uh, uh, sealing on there to get the stick. And on the front, I have a light. It's two screws, no big deal. Okay, so once I get that out, all the screws out, everything where it's freed, I'll take something. I'm going to pry the whole way around here and just pop all these little clips the way around it and uh, open it up see what I'm left with here okay that fell out it's important I can tell that goes right there see it's a weight holds that in so when you take this apart you want to be very very careful that you don't flip it the opposite way look to see which end has all the guts in it and which end doesn't. Um, you have a little metal thing here that the screw goes into for the bottom for that uh, adjustable uh, cutter, little right, the cutting thing there. All right, and uh, the rest is just mechanical. So what, like I said, what happens here, a lot of these, they don't go up and down, it doesn't work, you think it's broken, something snapped in there. Actually, it didn't. It's a real simple fix. There's a lot of grease involved. And what happens is there's a little pin. It'll pop out right... Let's see, get this here. Right here. See, there's a little pin right there. You want to take that little pin and just pop it in there. But it won't pop in because there's actually, on this wheel, there's holes cut that it goes in. So you want to turn the wheel until you get it to where it pops in. And then take something like a screwdriver and really push it in as far as it'll go. And it's a little pin about this size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in again. Make sure it's up in there real nice and tight into this wheel because you want, you don't want it sticking out. It'll eventually work its way out. Uh, you have uh, an arm here on it, and you have an arm here on it that holds it. Like you can see that this, how the pins work on it, these little arms come off. So a lot of times that pin will work itself free, just like these pins will, because the grease seizes up. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. And once you turn this wheel to where it clicks into that, that's what's stopping from going up and down. That pin controls this. So when I turn it, you'll see the blade working in unison with that, making that move go up and down, up and down, up and down. Jigsaw is a very simple piece of equipment. So you repair that, put all that back together, snap it together, put the screws in, and it'll work.